Uh, hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to continue our Let's Get quest for Rusty Gun, uh, the Light Horse Monster. So we're going to keep moving this monster. Uh, I don't know if I have enough coins yet for it, but the odds are I'll have enough by the time the event's over. So it's all good in the hood. Hopefully we can get him today. <laughs> uh, I, I was going to do this video like at the beginning of it, but uh, like the beginning of the discount, I mean. Uh, but I was distracted by the new cell, elemental cell stuff. There's a bunch of things going on, like, uh, there are daily chests now, there's gonna be daily chests for, uh, specific elemental monsters that it can be up to rank for. You get, like, a legendary monster, you get 20 of that specific elemental cells, and then you get a, uh, you get five elementium. Uh, I, I don't like the the price is pretty I, I, it's like it, instead of gems it does cost uh, money so it's probably not worth investing in <laughs> uh, but I, I there, there's a bunch of interesting stuff going on today besides that like the um, I, I do believe the dungeons are gonna be daily uh, they're gonna have a it's probably gonna be a, a daily thing where you'll be able to uh, clear dungeons to get specific elemental cells uh, yeah, yeah, that's, it's really good, you know, with elemental cells, I, I'm going to make a video on it today, uh, but basically elemental cells is like elementium, you know, the, the white version of, you know, the elemental cells, but elemental cells are the specific legendary, you know, they, they're used to rank up uh, legendary monsters and or craft them, uh, so you can potentially just use them for either crafting and or ranking up. The easiest one is crafting, obviously, because you can save every, you know, you can only use it when there's, I think you can only use it when there's 80, if you have 80 of a monster cell, obviously, where you get my point, you can use, uh, you can break 20s with them, it's pretty handy, it saves you 30 gems, which is handy, uh, and or you can use them to rank up uh, non-breedable monsters, that's the main thing everyone's excited about, and I think that's also a fair good point. <laughs> Uh, to be able to rank up really, really strong monsters like your team race monsters or uh, monsters you are lacking in at the moment. But specifically for me, I'm lacking in ranked up light monsters. So to have, uh, you know, breedable elementium for that specific element is nice. You can rank up things like LK9 or uh, this monster, for example, if I wanted to. So we don't have enough for uh, this thing today, but that's fine. We'll get him uh, tomorrow or later today. Uh, it's probably going to be tomorrow, but we'll get him eventually. But yeah, I'm going to make uh, videos about uh, this wonderful new dungeon that we're getting. Uh, it seems to be a daily uh, you know, thing. It, it changes, obviously, so tomorrow will probably be something else, like water, fire, or something crazy like that. Uh, but this is really good. I like this. <laughs> uh, this, this essentially makes... Uh, the whole process better because whenever you uh, extract for the specific elemental cells uh, you only get 10 up to 10 of them at uh, the maximum is that the monster has to be at level 100 you only get 10 per legendary uh, a lot of people see that as a you know as oh, it's not worth it it is really worth it on honesty <laughs> you know to be able to have a farmable source of again a specific uh, elemental, you know, farm, that, that's really good. You can rank up really good monsters with the, uh, by just extracting the basic legendary, like, say, you, you want to work for light, breed a bunch of Arc Knights, uh, then you'll get it eventually. Uh, essentially, since you get 10 per extraction, uh, essentially that means, like, if you were wanted to do rank one, let's say you wanted to rank them up once with the elemental cells, you need essentially 12 Arc Knights. <laughs> All right, that, that's crazy, right? But it's just the thing. Uh, again, that's why I said the, you know, just craft it. It's more so easier to craft than to rank them up. But again, it's you can use them to rank up monsters or use them whatever you want. Uh, the easier use is the crafting, but the uh, more, much more, much more beneficial is to just extract them and for ranking up purposes, I think. I think you should start breeding, like, uh, if you guys are in, like, uh, a team that wins races, I, I highly recommend starting working on Arknight for ranking up your 
uh, Gakora because that's a really good monster. <laughs> I, I think Gakora is rumored to be uh, that the Gakora race is coming up soon. Uh, everyone's hyped about that, or it could be another monster. Everyone's thinking it's like a nature monster and or Gakora, probably Gakora. Uh, and that's a really good monster to rank up early. early. I, I might be like terrified seeing those on defense, like with at one thirty, <laughs> uh, because he basically. Uh, can pretty much make attacking so much easy. He's a, such an easy attack monster and or uh, defending monster depending on what move he goes for. But for the most part, if you use him on attack, you shouldn't really lose. <laughs> like any monsters. I, 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 depending on your comp, of course, uh, and your damage output, I guess, and what you're fighting. But for the most part, you should win attacks with Gakora. He's just that dumb. He's very good at protecting monsters from deny. Like the call, he protects from all common deny, uh, and he has an AOE evasion, which basically means you can't be touched, and it guarantees a turn in. And for the most part, with most teams, you only need a turn to win. <laughs> it's just that good. It's it is really 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 good monster, really really good one. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make a video about these uh, today. I plan on posting them today. Uh, and all that jazz. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm Dib the Awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.